By now you have the scene geometry in place. You also added slice modifiers to hide one text object and reveal another over time. Next you add a pflow system to simulate pieces of rust tearing off from the rusty text. From the Create panel, under Particle Systems, choose PF Source. Click and drag anywhere in the viewport to create a PFlow source. The location and size of the icon don't matter as you will be using the text itself as an emitter in a few moments. At this time, the Particle Flow system has a default behavior that you can see a little bit better in wireframe mode. Press 6 to display the Particle View window. This gives you a representation of the various particle events and operators. Events and operators define how particles behave. As mentioned a moment ago, the current behavior is based on the default setup. 200 particles are born between frames 0 and 30. They originate on the pflow icon itself. They move and rotate according to default parameters. They are shaped to render like 3D cubes but displayed as sticks in the viewport. You obviously need to make quite a few changes in order to achieve what you set out to do. Select the position icon operator and then, with the help of the control key, select also speed, rotation and shape. Right click any of the selected operators and delete them all. You will start with a clean event. Highlight the birth operator. As mentioned before, it is set by default to 200 particles to appear between frames 0 and 30. You will need more particles than that. You will also need them all to be born from the start. Set both emit start and emit stop at 0. This means all 200 particles are already born at frame 0. Set the number of particles to 1000. You will probably need more than that at rendering time, but this is a good starting point. Next, you need a location for these particles to originate. Drag a position object operator and place it under birth. Highlight it to view its properties. Click the add button and select the text in the scene that's supposed to be rusty named text rusty. You can also select it from a list if you so choose. Notice the ticks representing particles all over the text surface. Notice also that at this moment, the particles don't budge. You have only defined their numbers and their position in space. You have yet to define their motion. You have also to define their shape. In the absence of a shape operator, particles would not render. That's fine for now though, because you only need these particles to render as they start tearing off the text. To create that effect, You'll need a collision object to travel left to right in sync with the slice planes. If you can create such an object, then you can add a collision operator and use it to drive a new event. That new event would be the one where you define operators that move, rotate and texture particles in a way that you choose. Close or minimize the particle view window, you can always recall it with the 6 key. In the Create Space Warps panel, Choose Deflectors from the drop-down list. There are many to choose from, but since you need a simple planar deflector, much like the slice plane, choose the Deflector button. Click and drag to define a deflector in the left view. Make sure it's big enough to encompass the text. At this time, it is in the middle of the scene, but you need to ensure it is linked to the position of the slice planes. You are mostly interested in the X position that ensures the deflector is traveling left to right. Right-click the selected deflector and choose Wire Parameters, Transform, Position, X Position. A rubber band appears. Click on the text in the scene and choose Modified Object, Slice, Slice Plane, Position, X Position. The wiring dialog appears. Make sure the direction is set one way, right to left, so that the slicing plane controls the position of the deflector. Click Connect and dismiss the dialog. Test the animation. Notice how the deflector now moves in sync with the slicing plane. In the next and final movie, you create an event that uses this deflector to tear off the particles currently on the text surface.